back to the next video in today's video i will show you how you can prompt your user to install your progressive web app from google play store or apple app store so there is something called trusted web activities uh, when you deploy your progressive web app to google play store and you can also integrate a native code once you deploy it to play store so that's the advantage of deploying google progressive web app to play store now uh, suppose you don't want the user to install your progressive web app from the browser but you want them to install it from the play store what you can do is first you will have to go to app.web manifest then here you will have to add this pref prefer related applications here you will have to make this as true and you will also need to add one more array inside here over here you will have to add this platform play so this is for play store you can add the package id as well as the url same for itunes as well i add the id and url and same for windows app store as well now uh, currently i don't have any progressive web app and this is just uh, i'm just referring the youtube app which is not correct so i won't be able to show you the demo uh, but uh, this might be helpful if you are trying to deploy your progressive web app to play store or app store also one more thing uh, if you want to know uh, details related to your progressive web app so suppose you might have two three uh, related applications uh, over here so what you can do is uh, have over here i have just created one more button called store app okay and this won't launch the play store but it would uh, if the user has already installed the app uh, related application uh, for your web app then he, you might get details about it inside your web app so if you go to calci.js here i'm just getting our button and inside the click listener i'm using this navigator.get install related apps now this is only a chromium based api it won't work in other browsers so won't work in firefox and safari here you can pass your package id and once the app is installed uh, if the app is already installed you can get the details for that app also for uh, uh, ios and ipad os you also need to add this two metadata tags for one for apple itunes app and here you can add your apple app id if you want you can add, add this app argument as well which refers to the sorry deep link uh, but uh, that's not necessary also there is something called app clips so if you, so this will help us to display the banner uh, for your related apps if you already have it in the app store so you can do something like this as well so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye